Hi guys, pop pop boot time. Having to do things out of sequence a bit here. I'm working on a pop pop boiler here that's sealed with silicon sealant. But I need to leave that 48 hours to cure properly. So we'll put that one out of the way. And instead of that, in one of my videos I did mention these jam jar tops that have got the um, security popper in the middle. The idea of that is you're supposed to know whether somebody's been trying to fiddle with the contents because they seal them in a partial vacuum so that popper is actually sucked in or pushed in and when you release the pressure so if somebody wants to fiddle with the contents and stick something inside as soon as you release the pressure that pops up so when you buy a jar of jam or something if you press the top if it clicks you know it's not safe somebody's opened it and potentially put something inside that you don't want to know about so that's what they were designed for um, I did wonder whether I could use that for a pop pop boat whether that would actually pop but I don't think it will because I think the default position which is up is the wrong way for us what we want is the default position to be in so when the pressure builds it pushes it out so I don't think that's going to work instead of that what I'm going to do is clean the surface off and if you saw the video where I harvested or scavenged lots of tin cans, well aluminium cans, one of the cans was tin, this one, which if I find a magnet attached to my tripod here, now you'll see that is actually a tin can or steel can as opposed to the aluminium ones which the magnet has no effect on. So, very unusual to find one of these because they're all aluminium now so this one's probably been laying in the bushes for years. It's clearly got some sort of covering on it. In fact, that's interesting that. That's probably some sort of plastic film that covers it to stop it rusting. And on this side, that is rust. So, I think I can probably get a use, usable area there. Probably just the right size to solder it to this cover. Cap, top, whatever. And that might be flexible enough to actually pop. That's what I'm hoping. If I use this area, it will fail pretty quickly because that's rusted right through. But this area looks like it might have just enough space to get a usable bit of metal out of it. And then I'll use some copper tubes or brass and solder them in because I've used them in a previous project, which is why they've got solder on them already. And we'll see if we can make a pop pop motor or boiler out of this. I've also drawn lots of concentric circles there to try and encourage it to flex. What will probably happen is it will um, break. But I've done my best. There we are. Soldered up together. And if I blow in it Well, I wonder if that will work. We had a bit of a false start there. It sprung a leak once it started getting hot. So I've had to re-solder it. And while we're at it, I'll try two fresh tea lights to give it twice as much heat. And when I re-soldered it, I've put it on a bit of an angle by accident, so it's leaning to the left. 
Yes, when I resoldered the pipe on, which was leaking, I've got it at the wrong angle, so the whole thing's twisted. there. You sprung another leak? Just leave it alone and see what happens. I think it's, yeah, it's blown a leak again. Steam coming out. So, <laughs> summary time. While the steam escapes. I think that's our loudest one so far, but it's also given me the most problems. That's twice it's blown a, or sprung a leak. Steam's coming out just here. Yeah, well, disappointing.
it was noisy but it wasn't very powerful and that's twice it's leaked back to the drawing board hey thanks for watching there's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases you can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on patreon to buy me coffee you can always find more information in the video description thanks again for watching